Gentle Peeps, this is Jack Lacey here with Gentle Peeps Creative Studios, and today we're going to go far away from the Oklahoma, Texas area, kind of where our bands are usually normal. We're going to go up to the Minneapolis, am I saying it right? Minneapolis. Minneapolis. So Mini- Minneapolis, we're going to talk to the Failsafe. It's a cool band that I found on Instagram. It has some really awesome songs, which I think if you go and listen to them on Spotify, again, at the very end, I'll tell you again, but we're going to put all their links at the bottom. Um, and you're going to find out some really good music. Maybe you haven't heard before. Anyway, this is Chad here with me and probably this way. I'm thinking, uh, when I do, when I do my video, which, which way you're going to be, I think you're going to be this way. Uh, this is Chad. This is a drummer. And from what I understand, you tell me about rock bands with the ones I'm not a drummer. I'm not a guitarist. I can't sing, but I love metal music. I love rock. Um, the drummer keeps the tone, keeps the, keeps everybody in, in sync, right? Is that correct? We're the backbone. We are we are the offensive lineman. We are the catcher. We are the center. We are the whatever that is. So when yes. everything goes right, we get no credit. And when everything goes wrong, it's all blamed on you. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So so tonight, while we're recording this, there's also the guitarist. What's his name? Kyle. Kyle. So Kyle's doing. Y'all have a Twitch channel that yeah. I guess he does. So he's yeah. doing a live Twitch. So that's why he can't be here. So the other band members are doing other things right now. Um, so some of them can't be here. So myself and Chad have talked several times on Instagram, uh, trying to set up a time to get and talk, but they're doing, he's doing a live Twitch. So does he play on there or what does he do exactly? Yeah. So he'll run, he does a very, he does a couple different things. Like a lot of times he'll just kind of play the set or if we're leaking a new song, he might play part of a new song or he'll do some covers or just kind of do whatever the people request. And okay. That, just, that type of thing so just getting y'all's name out there and shouting it that's out that's what it is yeah i mean i i usually jump in the chats and razz them and tell them to play Freebird like nine million right. times but <laughs> nice so i don't feel so bad about razzing you the other day when I, in your live when i was i was i was i was sitting there going hey 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 oh no bring uh, it on, bring yep, it on. So, uh, i caught you on live the other night so that was pretty cool and um i think that this um, last album y'all had, what was it called? The uh, um, has, has it "Until I Break" on it. Was that y'all's last album? So we've only actually done one full-length album, and that okay. was called "The Racing Color." Okay. And then from then on, we've just released singles, like singles, six to eight weeks periodically. Okay. Um, and the reason for that, I mean, it's it's to get your numbers out there, especially for like up-and-coming bands and stuff like mm-hmm. that it's a numbers game when it comes down to Spotify and things. So like it makes more sense, honestly, from a number standpoint to release singles. Oh, okay. As opposed to releasing a whole record. Okay. Um, Interesting. We'll get enough singles and we'll put together like an EP and like an actual format or like an album in an actual format. But like from a numbers standpoint, algorithm standpoint, all this nerdery stuff here that Kyle, our guitar player, thankfully takes care of. Right. Um, it's uh it makes more sense for us to release singles and that way we can try to keep it more fresh okay you know, a year and a half for an album you know you got something fresh coming at you every six to eight weeks nice so are y'all with somebody are you an indie artist or how does, how does that work well for the most part independent and pretty much everything we do we do have a management company that helps us get uh, gigs and bookings and things like that uh but in terms of like we're not assigned to like an actual record label or anything we are very self-driven self-motivated self-funded self-everything band which we take a lot of pride in um you know all all of our recordings we do in-house the majority of our video we do in-house all of our photos we do in-house with the work of a couple friends and so we're really kind of a a a self-funded self-fueled machine which is cool okay so like i said until i break is a song that i was like i was really into Um, so tell me a little bit about that song uh, it's so uh, for the writing stuff that is prime usually primarily Jesse okay. and Kyle. Those two have like this magical connection of 
writing together and it's really awesome and um for the lyrics jesse just kind of gets lost in his own world and just comes up with magic it's funny he's very uh, i don't want to say self-conscious but he's very critical of his lyrics but i've always loved his lyrics and what he comes up with but he's also very open to us changing things and he always his big thing is hook 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 like i need to catch you emotionally right and it's amazing how much stuff he will throw away until he finds the right stuff i mean he, the guy is just a, a workhorse in terms of writing and then kyle is just a riff machine yeah. Uh, the guy comes up with just amazing licks and amazing riffs and amazing parts. And then I'll chime in every now and then because I'm a guitar player as well. Right. And so I'll, I'll try to contribute to the songwriting as best I can. But Kyle is just so leaps and bounds ahead of me as a guitar player that I kind of just like, screw it, you do it. Uh, <laughs> but uh, we're actually working on a new song now that I came up with the majority of the idea of. Okay. That was light. So I was pretty stoked on it. And I'm like, you guys like this? You want to work on this? Hell yeah. Let's, let's keep the ball rolling. Okay. Uh, but we actually have oh geez four or five songs in progress in the works okay so 2022 is it's going to be a big music year for us in terms of dropping new content and dropping new songs we have a lot in the backlog that we're working on so very nice very nice and so i know it says one of your one of your um songs on there on spotify was an unplugged version right yeah Yeah, that's that's kind of cool three song ep just something different you know we just maybe capture a different audience or show a different side of us and so we were like let's do an unplugged thing and that's basically how it came to be and it's it was a lot of fun uh my my main job in the band um, outside of being the drummer is i'm our recording engineer so i have a recording studio i do all of our mixing and mastering well not our mastering but i I have a guy that i outsource for that but i do all of our mixing editing all that fun stuff and the acoustic was a really fun project for me because it's so drastically different than a hard rock or a metal album, you know. Right. So for me, that was an absolute pleasure to do, and I think it came out really well. It was really well received. I, I liked it. It was definitely different, and uh, and it really almost to me. And you may correct me. It almost didn't even sound unplugged. Some parts of it, it sounded like just a regular, you know, band playing. It didn't yeah. sound didn't sound like you think sometimes unplugged is like all your instruments. No, you know, it's it just sounded different to me. It sounded good, even though it, you know um, some people really love that unplugged sound, and some mm-hmm. don't. And, um, but I, I like it because it wasn't your typical unplugged sound to me. It, it sounded a little yeah, different. For sure, um, for sure. I know that y'all play a lot of times in uh, Minnesota, Indianapolis. There's not Indianapolis, um, Illinois. We do a lot we in do Indiana, Chicago, Illinois, and um, Wisconsin. We actually do better out of state than we do in state, oddly enough. In nice playing shows. Yeah. Um, so, Illinois has been great to us, um, uh, Wisconsin has been great to us. We had our first like legit big, I don't want to say big tour, but a big tour for us back in, um, oh gosh, what was it? Eight? Like, yeah. Something like that with the Killer's Confession. Okay. Uh, they brought us on the road with them and um, God, that was so fun. We got to play Texas. Yeah, y'all got, y'all got to come down this way then, I heard. We did. Yeah. We did, yeah. yeah. And that was just a trip and a half in terms of just ups and downs. I mean, all the shows were amazing, but man, did we have some travel stories in terms of vehicle issues all kinds oh. of crazy shenanigans but uh, i don't think anyone's tour first tour should be a cakewalk i think you gotta kind of earn your stripes and yep. i think we did well i hope we did i don't want to earn any more stripes. so that was y'all's first big tour like traveling that was our and first stuff. legit like we're on the road we're out of here for a month we're gonna go play playing shows five nights a week type of thing right. yeah so who's all the guys in the band? I'm, I know I've talked to you. I haven't really got to talk to all the other guys yep yep so again i'm chad i'm the drumist so i mm-hmm. drive back skins um, Kyle is our guitar player and also our social media and kind of computer guru. Okay. Um, we have Benno, which is our bass player, and he's kind of like our fine tooth comb and takes and is, pays attention to a lot of the law and logistics stuff for us. Right. And then we have Jesse, our singer, who I jokingly call our fearless leader, who's essentially just kind of oversees everything and makes sure we're a well-oiled machine. So on this, on the one, the one picture is at him at the front with a groomed all good with a nice hairdo and stuff yeah. they gotta be pretty they got, yeah, yeah. They gotta be pretty you know what yeah. i mean that's why i'm the drummer i hide behind my thumb well, i got the same hairdo you do so i see it's like you know i just i love it i wake up <laughs> and i'm beautiful i don't have to worry about <laughs> products or anything so. that's right yeah he, de- he definitely looks like the, the lead singer type, type. Oh, yeah. it was, that was a cool that's a cool picture with him he's like up front like yep. like he's almost moving the camera or something yeah uh, i like that one uh that i guess that was for y'all's tour that y'all did Mm-hmm. um so the cruel for the summer is that what it was i think it's what it was called yeah yeah, yeah. 
Uh, so that was very cool in that part. So y'all planning on some more uh, trips, yes. like some more things yes. going it, on for tours? Definitely. Uh, we can't say yet because right. we're in. It's a surprise. Uh, it's going to be kind of a surprise, but we are fingers crossed and a very high percentage that something very, very cool is going to be happening in 2022 with regards to us playing live. I wish I could say more. I want to say more. Oh, if you want to hear more, you need to go follow them on Instagram. So that yes. way you kind of keep up with them. Cause I noticed that you go on there live sometimes. I hadn't seen anybody else live on there yet, but I'm sure I'm, that... I have no social life. So what do I do <laughs> on Instagram and hang out with people who want to hang out with me? So. There you go. It's talking to you. You had quite a little crowd that night. So that's pretty good. Yeah, it was um, cool. It was cool. Uh, so y'all are on, you're definitely on Facebook. You're on uh, Spotify. Facebook, you're on YouTube, Spotify, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. What else are we on? Twitch. TikTok. Um, you're on. We haven't quite embraced the TikTok yet. Yeah. We have like, an account. We've done a few things, but we really haven't. Uh, it's a hard one to get used to, yeah. Yeah, it's a weird one. It's a weird yeah. one. So, especially especially but, for bands and stuff, I'm sure, because now that's, um, I know that's, I think probably the best avenue for most things is a lot of Instagram probably. And yeah. then, and of course, Spotify. Um, my wife and I do a podcast on Spotify, so we know that. You know, getting your views on Spotify is very important. Yes. Uh, and then uh, just having those followers in that in that play. So go follow the Failsafe. Um, the name, yeah. Failsafe. So what did, how'd that, how'd that come about? <laughs> uh, th there's no significant meaning. No? We get that a lot. Of, does it mean anything? Is it No. We were literally coming up with names. And I think Kyle came up with it. We we're all like, yeah, that doesn't suck. Let's just ride that out. And that basically became the name. So, now you got the fell safe is the name, right? Or is yes, it the okay, right? Yeah. And then on Twitter, though, I mean, on uh, Instagram, it's we are the fell safe. So if you're looking for you, yeah, um, so that is there something to that? Is there a reason besides it's because the, the fail safe was taken? UK, there's a band in the UK, I guess. There was a band in the UK, but they've been defunct for like six okay. seven, eight years, something like that. So oh, we were able to take the name, yeah, so, yeah. I just wondered, I saw that it's kind of a few different things. So I thought, well. Because uh, when I first started listening to you on Instagram, I was like, started searching. I was looking, we are the fail safe. I kept looking, I just can't find it. So I had to, <laughs> I had to go look. I said, oh, it's the fail safe. Yep. We, we are the fail safe as a name on Instagram. So that was, yep. uh, but I'll put all the links below. Um, so that way I'll take you to the Instagram and everything. You don't have to, you don't have to do like I do. You don't have to search for the wrong, <laughs> the wrong name. Um, so new stuff coming in 2022 yes. that you can't talk about, new songs. But they'll, songs, but they'll keep but, continuing to come out. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, and you have some, you have some shirts and stuff you sell on your, on yep. your page. Yep. So, on our website, we got merch. We actually just partnered with a really, well, not just, it's been a, little, a couple months now. We just partnered with a really cool company that's, that's basically doing um, female merchandise for us. So like mm -hmm. female t-shirts, female hoodies, a bunch, that type of stuff. And that's been doing really well. My wife, anytime we go to concerts, we're always looking for shirts. And the hardest thing to find a lot of times is a, is a woman's, okay fitted shirt for you know yeah. and so that's awesome as you're doing that because that's yeah. really one of the harder ones to find oh for sure um, um the uh, so that, that part's cool and then also uh just the fact that you know you have them available real quick and then go look at it on your page which we are the failsafe.com i'll put it yep. below um so you want to definitely check that out um another question i had was on um i just for just had it in my brain and i just lost it <laughs> it has nothing to do with this bailey's i'm drinking here what are you what are you drinking there <laughs> i'm not as cool it's just a coke with a splash of grenadine okay nothing wrong with that everybody i think my one of my boys would definitely like that um oh yeah so the wording some of the wording uh like the way the writing kind of reminds me i've got my corn shirt on because it kind of remind me of that kind of writing like the, until i break is like, you know, it has a real deep meaning, I feel like. And yep. so um, do you all write, do you all write your music together or somebody else write it or how's that go? So the music is actually itself is actually relatively collaborative. Um, so Kyle and, and Jesse will get together or Kyle will just kind of come up with like a skeleton idea. And so we're all pretty tech savvy. And so we all write using the software Logic. It's a recording software. Okay. So we'll hash out an ideas on logic and then we just have like a cloud online cloud that we keep all this stuff in. And so I'll download it and then I'll maybe work on an arrangement or put my drum parts to it and then re-upload it and then we'll improve on that. And then we usually always end up gathering at my place to kind of put the final touches on the demo okay. to record parts, go over parts, things like that. And then by the time that's done, before we even actually record it, we have a like a, an amazing 
I don't even want to call it a skeleton. It's, it's just a very well thought out um, template of the song itself. Right. So that way, when we actually go to record, there's really no questions. We know our parts. We know what we're doing. We know what's coming up. Um, and then uh, for Jesse, again, for lyrics, I mean, he, if, if he needs help, he'll ask for it. But usually he just kind of he, he, that, that's his thing is that he'll just sit and, and come up with something amazing. And the way he comes up with hooks is, and lyrics is actually kind of interesting. Um, a lot of times he'll just get inspired by a melody or something like that. And he'll sing it into his phone and he'll send this to us. And be like, Let's build a song around this. We're working on a song right now that was literally just that. He okay. came over and was like, I have this melody in my head. I, I recorded it on my phone. And three hours later, we have a rough cut demo of it with guitars, bass, and drums on it, ready to rock and roll. Nice. So it's a uh, it's 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 a really cool process. That would not not to say that like getting in a room together and jamming with a pad and the paper is right. you know not valid because it's still very valid. But I think with the technology nowadays, this yep. has really improved and helped our songwriting um, and making it better and more efficient. Right. Well, everybody knows that music touches the soul. That's why we love you know songs oh, yeah. we love and. We love bands and artists is because something about that band, that artist, that music touched our soul. And so that's why we love music. And that's oh, yeah. why I, that's why you know, I'm, I'm a huge music fan. And I'm probably only one tenth of the music fan that my wife is. But together we love music. And so uh, that's why I do this, because I want to shout out music to people that may not get to hear. That's why I have bands that like uh, you can't see it. But Perseus is up here. Sign of Lives. I've interviewed Alloy, uh, David Bell, different people that all of them a little bit different, but all of them have an inspir inspiration to the type of songs they put out. And so same thing with the fail safe is like, I felt like that I really wanted to get y'all's name out there to some people that may not hear it, uh, through some of my avenues. And that's kind of what we have to do. Uh, in this time and age, there's so yeah. many people playing that, that maybe, you know, I'm at touch one or two people with your music that are going to be turned on to it and love it and feel the same way I did when I first heard it. So I'm pretty excited about that. And that's what it is. And I mean, and, I mean, first off, huge thanks for having me on and doing this for us. Like that's, that's what it is. We're this, this little community that helps each other out, which is fantastic. So right. thank you for doing that. But kind of yeah. touching on the topic you said, like music is just, it's the universal language. And that's, what's amazing. It's like a happy song is a happy song to people who may not even speak the language. A sad song is a sad song. So, you know what I mean? It just invokes all these emotions and feelings. And to me, it's just one of the greatest. I mean, for me, it's just it's such an amazing aspect and element of life. Like I couldn't imagine life without the language of music. It's, it's such right. a beautiful and wonderful and fulfilling, and inspirational and motivational and therapeutic thing that I'm just very lucky to even have the smallest part of it. You know, it's it's yeah. uh, it's the greatest compliment when we get someone's like, oh, we love your song, or your song made me smile, or made me think of this. Like that's right. uh, heartwarming. It really is. That's what it's all. That's what it's all about. You can become famous, you can make millions, but again, it's going to go back to who did you touch? And exactly. I think that I think that's pretty pretty fantastic. So again, we'll put all the links at the bottom because you don't definitely go check out the failsafe. And you want to get on Instagram because Chad jumps on there once in a while and go in there and make sure you harass him. And, uh, <laughs> uh he'll, he'll love that. I had a good sense of humor in there when they were talking that night. Um, but I'm pretty excited that you gave me a little opportunity to talk to you and get to shout you out. So thank you also for your time. Oh, um, yes. Um, other than that, so I'll put all that below. I'll add some music, some photos so you can see these guys and some little bit of their songs to, to this YouTube once I edit and put it all together. So I appreciate everybody's time for watching. Thanks, and uh, have a great night. Metal horns. <laughs>